Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, we will get started here. So um, if you're putting anything in the chat, I might not be able to see it just because I'm also presenting. So if you're writing any questions or anything like that in the chat, we'll get to them at the end. But please feel free to just pop them in there as we go through. And then can anybody just write in the chat that they can hear me and see me? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go over, we'll do a little overview here. So this is what we're going to see for today. We're going to go over the verbal and visual tools for feedback and then how to access coach mode and digital whiteboards within Clever. We'll do some user examples and Chris is going to hop on to kind of show you how he uses coach mode, as well as some tips from him of just like best practices and that kind of thing. And then we'll go over how to organize your coach clips after you do that in groups through labels and all that fun stuff. So we'll go over a coach mode overview to start. So for, there we go, there's my cursor. Okay, so for camera tools, they're gonna be up at the top. So this icon right here is gonna be where you're gonna be able to flip the camera. So it'll flip side to side so it'll send you essentially show you the left side and the right side of a player um or anything like that this one here is going to allow you to rotate a video so if it imported incorrectly or it's just sized a bit weird you can rotate it so you can have it landscape or portrait and it essentially does 90 degree um rotations if you tap that and then this icon right here is going to be your front facing camera. So if you'd like to use your front facing camera to do any um, coach mode sessions or anything like that, some of our coaches like to use it to actually like demonstrate with their hands while they're explaining something. So you can use a front facing camera right here. And then next to that is your comparison tool. So that one's gonna allow you to pull in a second video or pull in a digital whiteboard on top of your video as well. So those are all of your camera tools up at the top. Next, we'll hop into your annotation tools, which are gonna be available um, on the left, sorry, the right side of your screen. When you first tap this, you'll just see that pen tool. And then this will drop down from there. And you'll be able to use like a squiggly line where you have kind of free form drawing. We have lines and then we also have arrows. And then you can choose from these three colors. And then if you ever wanna delete a drawing that you just did, you just press the like reverse or back button. And then to delete all of them, you would press the garbage icon. Then at the bottom of the screen, the most important part is the record button. If you do a session, but you don't tap record, it won't be saved. So just make sure as you import a video and are coaching over it, you wanna make sure to tap record before you do anything, any voiceover, any drawing, anything at all, because that's how our app knows to save the video and will allow you to go back to it later. So just make sure you're tapping that red button at the bottom. Then for frame by frame adjustments, you can do this two ways. So this little box here that's kind of outlined in purple is your scrubbing tool. So you can kind of fast forward and rewind, rewind really quickly through that one. So if you're trying to like pinpoint a specific spot in a video or in a game review or anything like that, you can speed through really quickly. If you want to press play, on your video. So this is like the start of the video, it's paused and you just wanna press play. It's gonna be right here, that's your play pause. And then if you wanna go frame by frame, like literally second by second, it's gonna be these two kind of skip um, buttons on either side of the play button. And then if you wanna speed up your video in general or slow it down as well, you can choose your speed by tapping that one X. Now for the last piece of coach mode, it's gonna be your AI skeleton and that's gonna be up at the top here. So it's gonna be the little man icon with beta underneath. So when you tap that, you're gonna get a skeleton superimposed on a player. So just like you see here on the screen where it shows joint angles, it'll show head, neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, uh, hips, knees, and ankles. And it's also a skeleton that you can move around. So when we do a little demo with Chris, he can move that around for you. So if ever they have like incorrect body positioning, you can always pull one of those dots or one of those data points to where you'd actually want them to be. Okay. 
So this is coach mode overview. We're going to hop to digital uh, whiteboards next. So for digital whiteboards, it looks very similar. So again, your annotation tools are going to come down from the pen and it's the exact same thing. You have the free form, which is how I was able to do this kind of squiggly line. You have arrows, which is how I was able to do this. And then you can change the colors as well to kind of show defense, offense, all that kind of thing. And then again, you have to tap that record button to record any annotations or any drawing that you do on your digital whiteboard or any voiceover, anything at all. So just make sure, make sure you're tapping that record button before you do any sessions in digital whiteboards and coach mode. And then again, you have your options up here. So if you tap the icon that looks like a court, when you tap that, you'll be able to choose between different fields, pitches, courts, all of that kind of thing. So we default to a hockey rink. But if you're baseball, basketball, soccer, anything like that, you can tap that and you'll be able to choose from different whiteboards. So that's a little bit of an overview of both coach mode and whiteboards. And then these are some use cases. So here's the skeleton tool in action. So you can see it on one of the coaches of our Clever Young Kings Colorado program. And you can also see that it will pick up some of the other players behind. So just make sure that you're really pinpointing on one player for the most accurate results. And then here's an example of using some of the annotation tools. So drawing on the foot, for example, you could be like, this is great. You're looking in the right direction. And then also superimposing the AI skeleton. And then we just gave a golf example for, for another kind of option. So this can show your golf swing, again, using that AI skeleton tool to kind of show his joint angles. And again, you could use a scrubber here to really pinpoint exactly where you'd want to provide feedback or anything like that. So that's a bit of an overview. I will let Chris, I'm going to stop sharing. So let me do that. There we go. Okay. I'm going to let Chris hop on and share his screen and he's just going to go over like kind of how he gets to coach mode and take you through a bit more of a live demo. So Chris, take it away. How's everyone doing? Thank you very much. Let me know if you can see my screen. We can see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now we can see all of it. Screen. <laughs> So what Christine was showing you was, again, a little bit of the, the base of what we do. Um, I do want to emphasize on the whiteboards, it is, it is very important when visualizing me coaching over the whiteboards, how much you can utilize them and also prepare slash save time with your athletes, with your coaches. So the way I utilize the whiteboards before I go into it, um, there might be something or a fault in our team game. So I'll ask the coaches, Hey, send me like two or three drills that you think that could emulate a fault in our game. And we will look at the video and then we'll start to create drills. If we can't find them based on uh, the whiteboards and how um, we interact between. So when I show you the whiteboards, think about that. We also utilize it for specialty teams and, and many more things. So again, it's, it's much better than sending like a, you know, like a desktop file or a, or a picture of a, a whiteboard with X's and O's all over it. And then you're getting to a practice and your coaches are like, what's going on? I can't figure out what this drill is with this. You're literally talking over a whiteboard. You're drawing on it. Some people do record themselves on a whiteboard drawing with a felt. Just imagine getting rid of all that and having your whiteboard. So I do want to emphasize the whiteboards tonight. Um, coach mode. So the 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 reason why Clever was created was we were trying to streamline video coaching and video sharing. And that's what we've done. Uh, back in the day, my agent used to send me video. And I was like, why can't I get a video, coach it, and share it back to either that athlete, the agent, the coach, whoever it may be. I was like, all I got to do is be able to pull up the video, draw on it, voice over, whatever, and share it back. So that's what I'm going to show you right now, just how simple, effective, and, and easy it is. And then again, sec in the whiteboard. So when you come into Clever, if you look at the tabs at the bottom, you have the feed, you have the marketplace. The marketplace, again, is coaches that you can reach out to. You have the camera. Um, 
We have so many parents now utilizing our camera function or in order to send their coaches or you as a coach video. Uh, I tell all our parents, hey, if you're if you're athletes struggling with something, I don't have all the time in the world to find it. You now have our camera function that allows you to find it to be able to send me the video to coach. You have groups, which is an easy way to share video, access video, and coach video as well. And then me. So me is to the far right. When you tap the me tab, you can look at all these things. You have your metrics tab that also allows you to see what your vertical jump is as we build out clever that'll get built you have my clips those are all my clips so that is only for you to access you have chat marketplace posts notifications create post and coach mode and whiteboards you can access whiteboards and coach mode also through my clips but i'm going to show you what my clips looks like this is very raw so this is exactly like we were taking video tonight of D zone face offs and certain things. So when you come into my clips, you can see exactly what I have access to and only I have access to. In my clips at the top, you can see how I can start to utilize different tabs to see, oh, 2015, oh, we played 2015 Lightning one game. Those are clips from that game that I can access. I'll go back to all and I'll start to coach. So in order to get to coach mode, you can either tap on the clip and tap the microphone, or you can access coach mode multiple ways. Um, the biggest thing we wanted coach mode to be was super easy to be able to record your voice and drawings over it. So this is my son right here. I just want the ability to scrub, to be able to talk over it, to draw in the top right is the pen. Some skill coaches, especially when you're working in fine detail, uh, like to switch hands so you can actually flip. So imagine if you're looking at a lefty and you want to show them as a righty, it's in the top next to save. It's You can flip hands. You can rotate the video. You can put your face. So in the top uh, second from the left, now I have my face in here. So again, if you're a coach, you want to talk over the video. If you want to get rid of your face, you tap that icon. If I want to pull up a second video to the left, that plus sign is actually the ability that allows me to go back into add content to pull up a second video. Uh, so again, imagine like, so what I do is I'll pull up an Alex Ovechkin shot and then I'll pull up a kid of our kids shooting. Look at the core rotation of Alex, whatever. Um, you can also overlay a whiteboard on that clip as well. So again, multiple ways in order to add video. I'll just go back to coach mode. I accidentally tapped out. Sorry about that. So again, multiple ways to add video. And I'll go back in and coach. And I'm going to show you how to record your voice, draw, and whatever you need to do. So again, well, sorry. I didn't show the frame to frame like uh, Christine showed. Next to the play button at the bottom, you have frame to frame forward frame to frame backwards. You also have slow motion to the left. The most utilized coach feature is the pen in the top right again, or scrub. So usually when I'm coaching, I'll actually scrub and talk over and I'll show you how to create a clip. When you want to record a clip, hit the red button in the bottom right corner. That starts to allow, that starts to record your voice, your drawing and whatever it may be in order to create a clip. So you tap the red button. I can be like, okay, Jax, what are you thinking here? You know, what are you doing? Are you making a fake? Um, how's your head? How's your posture? If you want to add the skeleton, is exactly what we talked about. You tap that symbol in the top. It's a little person symbol. You can add that so you can see the purple. Flip it on and off. If you want to manually manipulate the skeleton, a lot of apps do skeleton, but it's actually just a, to be honest, it's it's useless unless you can manually manipulate the skeleton. So we've been on a lot of coaching apps. You put a skeleton. Oh yeah, that's great. There's a skeleton, but I need to be able to move the joints. You can actually grab the joints. So it'd be like, look at your knee bend. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Um, again, scrubbing through Jackson, let's go back to your deke. Where's your head? What was the fake? That wasn't a big enough fake, yada, yada. 
when you're done rec uh, recording your voice and all your coaching, you hit stop in the bottom right. And up top, that save button loads, you hit save. And you can now see in the top left, I've created a video clip that I can now send to my athlete, yeah, the parents and whatever it may be. It, it looks like this. Red button. I can be like, okay, Jax, what can you, you hear my voice? Here? You know, what are you doing? Are you making a fake? Um, how's your head? How's your posture? If you want to add the skeleton. So again, I'll scrub through the video a bit more. So you can see how I just created a video clip like that. Again, no one else does it close to this. This is what we do better than anyone. Create a clip, coach it, and now share it. So if I want to share that clip, whether it's in Clever or out of Clever, there's multiple ways to share it. Here's the coach clip again. I can hit share. Oh. Now the video is being processed and I can send it on. Again, you can put it on Instagram, text message, WhatsApp, whatever it may be. So if I want to go to WhatsApp or whatever, send it as a video file. Let me find a, so Christine, oh, you're going to have a great video here. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> you're going to enjoy this coached video that was created and shared just like that. Um, if you want to share it in Clever, it is the best, most efficient way. You then would create a group. And this groups is actually real. Like this is my team groups, my son. I have highlights, everything, our team games. Um, if I want to send it into the Young Kings 2015 team group, and if I want to upload it into a folder, just like that, I would tap into the folder. I could tap that icon on the far right, which is the video icon. And right there in the top left, I would hit select and done. All my parents are now actually being notified <laughs> on my hockey teams that there is a video now being uploaded into Ozone Options. I'll have to delete it. And uh, that is that. So again, coach mode, very easy to use, very easy to create a video clip, very easy to share in and out of clever um the second piece do you want me to keep going christine or do you have anything to add to that uh no you're good i'm just i'm just watching the time but you're still good for time okay now what does scrub, what does scrub mean you're scrubbing the video you're just reviewing the video yeah so scrubbing is there's that bar at the bottom greg hey good to see you greg thanks for coming yeah, yeah. on um so you see that purple bar at the bottom so there's like the play button just above that. Oh, okay. So this is scrub. So oh. I'm literally just grabbing the video and scrubbing okay, 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 um, okay. along that purple bar. It's the most used feature when coaching. Cause like sometimes you could be like, okay, look at frame to frame. How are you setting up again? You're, you're very detailed on your balance points of what you coach. Like, how's your balance? What are you thinking? But if you can actually scrub with your thumb and talk over how you're coaching. Okay. 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 So like I could literally, again, I'll hit record the red button and I can start to scrub. Hey, what are you thinking? What are you doing? What do you want to do? What are you, you know, and you can draw it at the same time, right? So that scrub feature is super important for coaches being able to talk and coach at the same time. Thank you. Yeah. Background noise. The boys here watching hockey. So sorry. All good. Um, uh, does anyone have any questions on coach mode? Anyone else that's on? Hey, Chris, how's it hey, going? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Um, just yeah. a question on filming. Uh, is it better to do landscape or portrait on your phone when filming or so does that it, like it, kind of adjust to it? It does depend what you're, you're filming. If you're filming skill assessment, Anything close up skill assessment, always do portrait okay. most of the time, most of the time. Uh, if you are filming game scenarios, game situations, power play, D zone face offs, I'll show you actually Kenzie quickly, just what it looks like. So here is from yesterday's practice. We're starting to show D zone face off. This is actually landscape. So oh, again, nice. we film it, we show the kids and you can see how it's actually landscape. So, hey, you know, you could start to be like, oh, here's our D, here's our center, D, 
uh, wing wing. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. So concepts are much easier to film landscape. Now you can also upload video from anywhere. And most of the video uploaded from live barn and, and, and features like that are in landscape. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll get to whiteboards quick again, whiteboards, very, very helpful with preparation for your games, uh, for your skill, or for your skill practices, whatever it may be. Whiteboards is honestly the thing that saves my life. Cause I got, I'm overlooking five, six teams and I got to be able to send every single coach exactly what I need and exactly what they need to do in order to execute a practice plan or a game plan for me. Um, in order to share to them, I actually have groups in here where my 2015 Young Kings coaches come in. And if you come in here, these are our drills. So you can see all our drills every day. They get uploaded a drill and um, they watch it. Obviously, when you're overlooking multiple teams, you need to make sure they're all dialed in. I'll teach you how to create a whiteboard. Super simple. Again, you can get to whiteboards multiple ways. You would just tap whiteboard. If I want to change the sport, you can tap the whiteboard at the top. I can change to basketball, soccer, baseball currently at the moment, and hockey. I'll select hockey. If you want to move the whiteboard around, pinch it, rotate. Sometimes you need to rotate it. You need to talk about ozone concepts, whatever it may be. Up top is the rotate button. Oh. Screen sharing is stopped. You might just have to reshare. One second. Always the fun part of sharing screens with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So again, like Christine, do you want to kind of add while I'm re uh repulling this back up? Yeah, for sure. So um, like Chris was mentioning, there's lots of different ways that you can get to coach mode. Um, we find that going to the me tab is the easiest because the icon is like very prominent. So you can go there to coach, um, to access coach mode and for whiteboards. But again, from my clips, you can either long press on a video and then go to coach, or if you tap into a video and then click the little, uh, microphone icon, that's another way to access coach mode. So there's lots of different ways, depending on where you are in an app, you can also do the same thing when you're in a group. So for example, if you're in a group um, for your team or for a player or anything like that, you can tap a video in the group or long press it and you'll be able to access uh, coach mode through there. So it just depends on like where you are in the app. You don't always have to go back to the me tab to be able to find um, coach mode or whiteboards. We tried to make it user friendly in that sense for you. Yeah. Let me know. You timing. Can... Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to uh, the internet. <laughs> um, so again, like we talked about, I'll go back out. You're at the me tab, tap whiteboard, bottom right. And now you're in whiteboard. Again, you can rotate it up at the top and you can draw on it, whatever you need. Again, the best way for me to prepare for practices is to create a video clip when you need to create the video clip. Let's just talk about a ozone scenario. You hit the red button. That is now allowing me to talk. I, okay, we're going to come out of the corner. You're going to get a pass. You're going to come in and shoot. John, you're going to be down here. Okay. When you're done that, you could be like, okay, Greg, let's work on, you know, we're going to have a pile on here, pile on here. We're going to come in and we're going to work on turning. You're going to come in and shoot. Now I'm just making this up. But just you'll understand how interactive the whiteboard piece is after I'm done coaching. So if you want to move the whiteboard around, talk about down here, who's going to come down here and help the kids out at this end? Christine, please come down here. We're going to do the horseshoe again. That's a lot of horseshoe. Um, whatever you need to do. So again, when you're done uh, coaching, you're done going through your lesson plan, you can coach up to four minutes long. So if you've gone through an entire lesson plan, you hit stop, save, and everything is always saved back in my clips. So 
So you come back into my clips and this is where your video will be, your whiteboard. That is now allowing me to talk. They'll be like, okay, we're gonna come out of the corner. You're gonna get a pass. You're gonna come in and shoot. John, you're gonna be. So you can see how I'm talking over the whiteboard, super interactive. Again, you can share outside of Clever. You can come into groups in Clever and you can share it in seconds, just like that. So instead of going onto a desktop version and putting X's and O's everywhere and taking forever in order to create the video and then share it, you can literally do this in seconds. Then you can share it right to your athletes. You can share it to your parents. You can share it to your players. Now everyone understands exactly um, what the coaches want, what's going on and, and what they need to do. Is there a hand up, Foz? Yeah, how do you uh, create a group? Creating a group literally takes two seconds. So just like I did here, you hit the plus sign, top right, new group. Imagine Faustin, create. You can come right into this group. Faustin, I can search for you. We can add you just like that, or you can create a group code. So I would send, so if you're trying to add 20, 30 people to a group, you say, hey, the group code is Faustin. So invitation code, imagine it was Faustin. You could then share that to everyone. And in order to add the video, again, just tap add video and the video will pop up. So imagine this whiteboard that I just coached was a video you want to quickly share to the group. You hit select, done. Boom, the video is now in there and you are now being notified. Everyone else in the group is now being notified that the video is in there. So again, super easy to do. Um, we'll kind of, I'll show you exactly what it looks like with my 15 coaches. 15 coaches, lesson plan. This is actually real. So I want to do that drill again. You know, where we have everyone, we can go out to each side. Guy comes down, you know, gets the puck. They come down two on O and shot. So you can kind of see how I'm talking over the video. The coaches get it way more interactive than sending some desktop version. You can also take this and attach it to a real drill. So you can, in in our uh, My Clips, so if you come into My Clips, and you want to take a whiteboard and you want to attach it to a real live drill. Again, you just grab it. You hit select at the top. And you could tap a couple videos. You hit merge. And then again, here's my whiteboard drill. Here would be like, imagine that was another drill of the live version. And you just hit merge. And now you're creating one video that you could send off to, again, all your athletes, all your parents, everyone. So we have all the editing tools that any other app has that allows you to merge, uh, move videos around, create reels, create highlights, all that. And uh, yeah, so again, super easy to use, very interactive, and it'll help you save a boatload of time. And it'll especially... Especially when you get creative with your other coaches, that's the best way. So last last game, I saw two or three things. Hey, coach, send me one or two drills that will emulate that scenario. Let's get creative and then let's come up with a lesson plan to make sure we're dialed in for next practice, if that makes sense. Okay, awesome. We have about five minutes left. So if you guys have any specific questions about coach mode or digital whiteboards you can just unmute yourselves and shoot away or you can send them in the chat totally up to you okay in the meantime i'm just gonna share my screen so back to here i think everybody can see that yes okay um uh if you have any questions again just totally interrupt me that's totally fine um, but there's just a couple best practices I wanted to go over about organizing your coach clips. So one of the great ways uh, to do that is using labels. So as you noticed, once um, Chris coached a clip, it showed up as like the first one on the left side. It'll also show up under a coached label in my clips. So that's an easy way to find it. If you are um, like don't have a ton of groups like Chris, or even within a group, you can create a folder called coached. 
So it's all of your coached videos that are in that. So you know which ones that you've spoken over and all that stuff. Cause sometimes by just the little um, like cover piece of the video, it's tough to tell if it's something you've coached over or not. And then another tool, if you long press on a video or if you are in groups and you tap the three dots beside a video, you can rename it. So I would suggest going in and writing a descriptive title. So say like Jack's drill and then like a date or something like that. So you have an idea of like when you coached it, what it's about and all that. So you're not like tapping into every video to try to remember what it's about. So those are just a couple good tools. And then last thing, if you have any questions, again, send them in the chat. Kenzie, is it easier to film right in the app or use your camera on your phone and then upload trim the clips as needed? Um, I would say that's totally up to you. Um, it's way easier to film in the app. Like our, our <laughs> games, Kenzie, are all filmed. So some parents film games on, um, you know, Facebook or they do this. Like, Literally, they can put up a camera on a tripod. You can even clip with your ear pod or a watch with mm -hmm. our camera. But my managers record every game. So they put it on a tripod. Anything that I need, I say, hey, clip these scenarios, clip goals against, goals for. After every game with our clipping mechanism, instead of watching an hour, I watch four minutes of video. And it's all the most important stuff that I asked our manager to save. And it's all in clever. They upload all the video to me and it's done just like that. Rather than, like you said, doing it on your phone, doing it in another app and then uploading it. It is by a mile, by a mile, way easier to use it in clever. And it's faster. And actually the athletes, the retention rate, if you show them something right away, they retain the information up to 60% better so if you can get them that information fast and using our app, I mean, it's, it'll be better. You can do either or up to you, but it is way better. So, Chris, so you're saying I, like, if you, oh. sorry, Greg, one sec, if, if you have, um, say your watch or your earpiece, you can kind of click and it'll roll, click, stop, click, yeah. start, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, same with an Apple watch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm sorry. So, so Chris, what you're telling me here is with my clips, because I, you know, I've worked with over 6,000 kids here in the last six, seven years. I could virtually, and they're all mine. Nobody else could see them. In my clips, I could do the before and after videos and adjustments anywhere between the seven and 10-week program, so to speak, using the Clever uh, clever app, my clips. It's all going to be, nobody can have access to that except me. In your my clips, that's only your access, correct? Oh, boy. Yeah. And you can also, you can create groups where you upload video and give others access to it, but it's really up to you. Well, I have the parents recording uh, and keeping the videos themselves. And then when they come back, when we do the after video, six, like seven, 10 weeks later. So this, this would be a lot stronger. Okay. I just, yeah. Perfect. Hey, everybody, you might notice that it came to a little bit of an abrupt end. We ran out of time, unfortunately. Um, so that's why it kind of stopped after Greg's question. So if you guys have any further questions after watching this, if you're watching the replay, especially, you can scan either one of those QR codes. So the one on the left goes to our Clever Help Center, which includes FAQs, troubleshooting, tips, best practices, all of that kind of thing. And then the one on the right takes you to our demo page. So through there, you can request a demo with one of our team members to dive a little bit deeper into coach mode and digital whiteboards. If you feel that you could use that kind of one-on-one -on -one session with one of our team members, we are more than happy to do that. Otherwise, feel free to send us an email or go on our Instagram at Clever App and you can send us a DM and we'll get to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much, guys. See you soon. Bye.